What's going on everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be talking about an idea that I've had for a while that I never really put into a video, but I thought, hey, there's enough like-minded individuals out in the ocean, so maybe it'd be a good time to cover it. So what we're going to be talking about is the theory of putting some sort of bounty system inside of the game. So essentially, I'm going to give you a quick rundown now. The idea is it's going to be a permanent vendor and a way to get to Pirate Legend or reach level 50, and it will be located in the different outposts around the Sea of Thieves. Now, personally, I believe a great spot for it would be on top of the tavern, because as you know, there's a little stairwell that goes to the top of the tavern that you can't get into, I believe it'd be a really great use for that space because I have a few ideas that I want to put inside the vendor. But anyway, the idea I had in mind is that every time you kill a player or sink a ship, you get a bounty on your head that just stacks slightly every time until it reaches the threshold. Then when you reach the threshold, you can go into that tavern claim the reward and get a bunch of reputation and a bunch of coins for it. Now the downside to getting big bounties will be that when you do have the highest bounty in the server, what it should do is leave a little mark on the map to show where you are. That way people can take you down if they're trying to take it. And every time you do get killed with a high bounty, you lose a section of it. And assuming you die three or four times in a row, that will completely wipe the bounty, then you'll have to restart. Now the way this will work is it'll hold to your name. So essentially every time you jump into a server, like your coins, like your doubloons and like everything else, your bounty will stay. But essentially that's the core of the idea that I had. I do have some little things that I can add to sort of implement it into the game and I'm gonna mention them now. So first of all, the big idea would be every time you load into the vendor and you have a look on the walls somewhere around there, you'll see a different bounty board and that'll have a list of pirates that are inside your server and who have the highest bounty on them. So that means you could spend your time going out to find them to take them down and claim a reward. And to limit people from farming this and grinding it for XP, what you could do is every time a single person takes down a pirate or a crew, they can't reclaim that bounty again. So it's only a one time per server limit. And as I was saying a bit earlier, if you do manage to be the crew with the highest bounty, what it'll do is put a little mark on your ship similar to a reaper's mark. But this time, if you manage to take down the ship, you can get some of their bounty on top of yours as well. And as well for taking them down, you get some loot rewards and some coins and some XP added into you as well. And to give people a reason to keep grinding and get higher and higher throughout the levels, what you can do is set it so every time you reach the threshold, say if you reach 5,000 bounty, it'll give you a map that'll show you the location to a reaper's chest. Now that will increase the amount of people going for this reward, as well as the amount of people trying to stop crews from getting those rewards and trying to take them down. So I believe this will add a few things into the game. First of all, it'll give the PvP players who jump around in adventure something to do, as well as giving some players a sense of fear. This should hopefully entice people to do some more player vs player related things inside of adventure mode, as well as just add to the experience when playing Sea of Thieves. But this is very much just a basic idea as of now, so if you have any cool additions to this, I'd love to hear about them, so put them down in the comments so I can have a read. But nevertheless, this is just going to be a very quick video just voicing this idea. If you have any opinions on how this could be better or what you could do to improve it, please, as I said, put them down in the comments section because I'd love to read them. Anyway, with that being said, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I've given Giving you something to think about just in case you wanted to. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.